Jesse. We got audio. Things are booming. Give me a second here. I'm doing something a little bit different. Let me know, is the audio okay? I'm just running this off my phone because I didn't bring the full streaming gear. They got a DJ boom in here, man. This is the shit. This is the place to be in Amsterdam, let me tell you. High <laughs> energy live stream, exactly. All right, let me just uh, let me just do one quick thing here. Their heat pumps and house tech too. No, this is mostly mobility. So I need chat to decide for me. Um, if you want to see bicycles, put a happy face emoji in chat. And if you want to see cars, put a skull emoji in chat. And we'll decide whether we go to the bicycle place first or the car place first. So that's a happy face emoji, any of the happy faces for cars, skull emoji for, <laughs> for, for cars, sorry, yeah. Skull emoji for cars, happy face for uh, bikes. Lots of happy faces, which is unanimous, yeah. <laughs> really surprised there in my chat. Not, not a lot of requests for, uh, for cars. So it looks like cars lose, man. Let's go check out some bikes. I got a, we got a couple, of, uh, a couple of skulls in there. This is for the skull people. We'll walk by the cars on our way to the bicycles.
This is uh, kind of fun. I got my phone on the gimbal, and then I've got my other phone for chat. No point using the map or anything here today. It's just going to show you that I'm at the right. Bye bye, cars. All right, there's more cars in the bike area too. What the fuck is this? Is that a barbecue on a bicycle? It's kind of wild. My kind of boxes. That's wild. Looks gas powered, I think, maybe? I mean, I assume it has to be. It's a barbecue, right? Some other uh, cargo bikes here. I think it might be pellet. Yeah, that's possible. Food bike instead of a food truck, yeah. We've definitely seen food bikes before, but not normally where they cook them. They more like prepare the food. Ice cream bikes and stuff like that. I've seen taco bikes in Toronto though. Cars. I have no idea what brand that is. Era? Which of these can you remove the speed limiter from? Yeah, that should be my first question for everyone. Yes, it's either a Chinese brand or some pretentious car brand that's trying to be, like, cool. Man, I'm having issues with that gimbal there. Just look at the damn car. Micro cars. What's this one? You want to drive a yo-yo? That's an interesting car now. So apparently you can test ride bikes here too, but I haven't seen where you do that yet. If a, if a Kanto still a Kanto, if they don't make too much noise. It's funny, eh? It's funny when you see electric Kantos. They're not very common, but you do see them. Isn't it not just like street or just car street? Oh man, I'm gonna switch hands for this gimbal. My left hand gets tired already. So I'm trying to avoid using my right arm. The tendons are still fucked up. Hopefully the audio is alright, I'm just using phone audio. I had my lav mic, but I had the wrong one, the one that plugs into cameras as opposed to phones. Amazed no e-bike companies offered inverter solar package. I mean, I think the thing is small solar panels just don't give out much electricity. I know Simon Clarks, who's a Nebula guy, he, um, he made a video with a solar trailer and it really did not get him very far you can watch uh, his video about it you're a bit quiet yeah I figured as much I really wish I could get my lab mic working but I brought the wrong one I needed a TRRS instead of a TRS next time next time 
So look at these things. I can probably turn up the audio game too, actually. There, maybe that's a little better. Mike is picking up too much background noise. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, so these things, I wanna talk about these things. These are like e-bikes, right? That are used for deliveries. It says right there, professional cargo bikes. This thing's fucking huge, right? Like, I don't wanna be sharing the bike lane with these things. This thing is taller than I am. And I'm like 185 meters. This is probably probably two actually. This is where I think we're gonna start having problems soon. When these things start showing up and trying to share the shitty bike infrastructure that most cities have. cities are 30 kilometers an hour on the road and these things are on the road. What else we got here? Trailers? Or is that? No, those are frames for e-bikes, I guess. No, they say bike trailer. That's interesting. Yeah, these are trailers. You can see that's like a serious trailer here. Again, imagine one of those bikes I just showed you with one of those trailers on it. That would be wild. The old cargo bikes with two wheels in the front and a wide box in the front were also scary. Yeah, those trikes can be quite wide, right? Um, but that's what those um, that's what those vehicles like that one I just showed you are are doing. They're taking the laws that are designed for like what an e-bike is, and they're just maxing out every uh, every possible dimension. Like here's some others. Look at the size of this thing, eh? This is like a, a dump truck. It's got hydraulics in it. That's wild. Look at this. That's a legitimate dump truck on a bicycle. I mean, yeah, these can totally work in, in car-free cities. Like, I'd much rather have one of these in my city center than a regular vehicle, regular truck in a pedestrianized area or something like that. It's just going to be scary if we need to share the bike lanes with these things. Another bike trailer. A lot of this show is focused on um, like logistics, cargo, stuff like that. So here you can see I'm putting the bin on. Yeah, these are getting up to the size of like Japanese key cars, right? Is it key cars or K cars? I never And then we've got some more normal Bakfeets in from this is Bakfeets.nl. This is interesting. This is like a like a taxi, like a jitney type bike but more modernly designed than what you usually say 
eight cars, yeah. Interesting. Everything here is electric, yeah? They're all e-bikes? Well, as I say that now, there's some regular bikes right there, but <laughs> you get the idea. And then we got more Bach feeds in here. Looks like something you'd see in Southeast Asia. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's kind of wild. But they're like, the ones you see in Southeast Asia are kind of like hacked together with parts from like 30 year old bicycles. Whereas these are manufactured specifically with that use case in mind. Here's another one here, big box on it. There's a lot of glare here. Hello. <laughs> this one here? For your look, in there. Yeah, okay. Backside. Oh, okay, let's just check it out. <laughs> yeah, I'll get, oh, I'll get that eventually. There it is. We're going to run full circle 1960s car infested cities to car free cities and back to cities full of these heavy machines. Yeah, I mean, it's an improvement, but yeah, I know what you mean. You should ride it. Yes, I should. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Except I'm live streaming to YouTube and Twitch right now, so we'll see if I can do that while doing this. <laughs> but I'll take a look at it. Wow, that's like four wheels, too. That's practically a car. Don't get hit by uh, micro mobility machines here. Almost got hit by that guy. There you go, we got the demonstration. But yeah, like, look at that thing, right? Four wheels, double wheels on the back, with a full size box. Oh, look out, one coming through. This, this is what the city of the future will be. You'll be standing here and you'll be constantly almost run over by trucks that look like bicycles. There you go. Is there a legal weight limit for bikes? There is in some countries, not in others. Every country is a little bit different. Here comes another one. I mean, that's full-on truck, right? Right? Let's see how this comes back. That's a truck, right? That Royal Mail one? I mean, he's pedaling, but that's a truck. Man, he slammed on the brakes there. Too. I guess he's really giving it the the full test drive experience. That turning circle is awesome. Yeah, I mean, as long as these things are on the road, and that's like, if this was the only things on the road, I'd actually be okay with that. But we just have to make sure that these things don't become like, there's cars all over the road, and oh yeah, by the way, those few bike lanes that you've been fighting for for decades are now full of this. Imagine being a truck cosplaying as a bike, yeah. I might have to ride one of those. I just don't know if I can do it with a bad tendon in my right arm and holding a gimbal. So this trailer is kind of nice here, right? This is the one that we saw the guy loading up. So it's like, geez, that thing is fucking motoring. We got a recumbent. This dude is motoring around these corners.
city of the future. This will be your pedestrian area of the future. <laughs> uh, these could be really, really good, but uh, they could also be really, really bad. You gotta keep an eye on how this develops. I, cities are gonna have to regulate for those for sure. And we see car we're going, is very central. We're going back to the cars from the Flintstones. Um, yeah, exactly. They are increasingly important in Google Logistics uh, because they indeed promote this health, well-being, and uh, green movement towards green of our uh, cities. They are also expected to replace about 15% of van journeys uh, in the coming years, which of course has a change in the demand for space. So on the one hand, they are smaller than vans. So with less vans, you think, oh, there will be more space. But how will then the cargo bike occupy that space? How, uh, and that's basically our question. How and where will cargo bikes need space? For how long? And that's kind of what we are investigating in this research. Well, there you go. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, so in this, in this um, There's a solid uh, cargo bike, uh, coffee bike. I completely forgot about this event. Well, the event is still on until Sunday, so this is just the first few hours of it. This is at the Rye Amsterdam Convention Center. No more shared bike pedestrian lanes with these things. Well, well yeah, I mean, some of these are moving really fast. You can carry a monkey and a moose. Wait to see uh, this thing with its speed limiter removed in the bike lanes. That is a motorcycle. Look at those tires. on the road cool but that's a motorcycle right that one does oh that is definitely that one it doesn't even have pedals they're not even pretending the ideal scenario would be to ban normal cars and make electric bikes use the roads while keeping bike infrastructure for casual features that's probably is the best case scenario we'll see uh, we'll see how this all plays out I'm like Cautiously optimistic with this stuff. Obviously, these things are better than cars and trucks. I just, I just worry about how like traffic engineers will roll these out. Oh, they're bikes. We'll just put them in the bike lane, which we made to be 1.5 meters wide strip at the side of the road. That is a serious container at the front for food delivery. You know, I was back in Toronto a few weeks ago and um, I saw so many food delivery uh, as usual, like, you know, Uber Eats and Just Eat and everything else. But it was amazing how many of them were driving compared to Amsterdam where I like, I never see food delivery people like coming out of a restaurant and into a car. They're always on a bike. But it was amazing how much, even in downtown Toronto, they were delivering by car. I don't, and that obviously would be a huge improvement to have them delivering by bike. Post NL.
This one is a, a four-wheeler, but what is this? It looks almost like they're attached to wheelchairs. These, they are wheelchairs. Wow. What? These are literally wheelchairs. There are a lot of moped deliveries in the Netherlands, maybe in Amsterdam less so. Yeah, so I don't see that many. I do see them sometimes. I know Getter does, gets here, does uh, mopeds. Apparently the Uber Eats bikes come down the GO train. Oh wow, that's wild. So here's like a bullet style cargo bike. You see these uh, bike couriers in Toronto sometimes too. Hey, if you're liking the stream, make sure you click like on YouTube. It makes a difference. Please just click that thumbs up, eh? Then YouTube will send the notification out to more people because that's just the way it works. So slam that like button. Just destroy it. food delivery by cars, but in smaller cities in Western Ukraine, it's almost exclusively bikes. It should be bikes, right? They don't get stuck in traffic. The only reason they don't use bikes is because it's not safe. What do we got here? This looks like a pretty hardcore e-bike. Cargo Bike Festival, who knew? Jason knew, yeah, that's true. So I actually actually didn't know that there was a Cargo Bike Festival here. I was invited by the people who run Fully Charged because um, they wanted to meet up with me because of the channel. Uh, but then I was talking to Chris Bruntlett, you know, from, uh, from Moda City, Modacity. They call it Modacity. I think it should be Moda City. Um, and he said, oh yeah, I'm going to the Cargo Bike Festival in Amsterdam, you want to meet up? And I'm like, oh, I have to go to this fully charged thing. And he's like, oh, it's in the fully charged thing. So that's how I found out. They limit the live notifications based on likes. Well, yeah, based on engagement, they show it to a few people, like the kind of like the people who will go into every stream. And then whether they show the notification to other people is dependent on the engagement that happens with the first group of people that are put into the live stream. That seems to be the way that YouTube does live stream stuff to discovery. Which is why I need to ask you to hit that thumbs up button or thumbs down if you don't like it. I don't care. It's fine. Do it. How's the HVAC industry in the Netherlands? Dude, I have no idea. We had heat pumps installed in our in our bedrooms a year and a half ago, though, and boy, I'm loving that. That was a good idea. Now we just need to get, like, solar panels on the roof. I think we need to talk to our VVA about that, our building association. Well, that explains the issues that I had with notifications for streams in the past, yeah. Boom, look at this, look at the size of that thing, seriously. That is huge. You can do React for some hype, yeah. I don't think I can do hype on uh, Twitch until I'm uh, a Twitch affiliate, right? Which I haven't done because it used to be that they wouldn't allow you to multi-stream. But now they do, so I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll do that. There's some legitimate motorcycles that aren't even pretending not to be motorcycles. 
Although they are a max speed of 45 kilometers an hour. That must be to fit within some legislation for mopeds so that you don't need a full motorcycle license, I assume. I also assume you can remove the speed limiter and this thing will go way the hell faster than 45 kilometers an hour. Nope, reacts are available for all. Oh, that's cool. And here's like mopeds. Not pretending to be anything else other than mopeds. Forty-five to eighty kilometer range, twenty-five or forty-five kilometer per hour top speed. Curious if they can be registered mopeds since a lot of them use bicycle parts. Yeah. I um I have noticed that. Actually, um, I remember the motorcycle channel Fortnite made a video about this. I actually like his channel, despite him being like a big motorcycle guy. <laughs> I'm not really into motorcycles, but um he has pointed out that these e-bikes that are made with bicycle parts and then people run them really fast are like super dangerous because they're made with bicycle parts, and those bicycle parts are meant to deal with bicycle speeds, bicycle forces, not motorcycle speeds, motorcycle forces. It is super dangerous to run a bicycle like a motorcycle. I mean, even for the people riding, not just everybody else in the way. Motorcycle go for them, yeah. Let me just check my phone because I think Chris from uh, Modacity was going to meet up. Is that an electric Lotus over there? Yeah, maybe. Let's go check it out. Cars, cars, cars. Cars, cars, cars. Car ice. Caris. Cariche. say though this this was is actually pretty cute for a car that design is interesting although it looks a little bit cheap that's at least kind of interesting for a um, an electric car you know Look at it, look at it. They just have the, the cable hanging out the back. Yeah, true. No truck bed. Can't carry milk. Looks like an attempt to recreate something in the 1950s, 1960s. I agree. And I think that's the idea. When I really sell out, that's what I'll buy. I'll buy a car ice. A cariche. Not just when I pretend to sell out my pickup truck. And then this one looks like like a Lotus sports car. I have to say though, both of these cars are quite small. I mean, not as small as that one. But they're not like super huge. If you gotta have cars on the road, I'd rather be around ones at least this size. Although these are not exactly practical vehicles. These are show off vehicles. Powered by Niobolt. I don't know what that is. But it's powered by it, guys. Yeah, that's a midlife crisis car, exactly. And since I'm like around that age, I, I think I'm gonna need a midlife crisis car, right? Is that the, the way it goes? Or I get a midlife crisis bike. Here is a proper truck. 
Smaller than your typical truck, though. Front door and the small green one? Yeah, let me see the small green one. Oh, that's the Microlino one. Is that the one where you get in at the back or you lift yeah you lift the you lift the whole front up, right? There's somebody in it now. Yeah, I remember seeing this thing at the uh, micromobility show. <coughs> yeah, there you go. truck is shaped like a Japanese K truck. Yeah, a little bigger I think, but yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hij is een stuk langer dan ik, dus dat, uh, ja, dat is inderdaad op. Dat moest ik ook meteen in deze Ja, dat gewoon een van een paar gebeurt er dan met je benen. Ja, is goed. Ik vind het wel heel leuk. Ziet u? Ziet u? There you go. That's pretty funny. While I'm riding my bike, I can't look at my chat too often. Thanks. I should have turned off uh, Nightbot. Well, I was going to get into that, but there's a bit of a queue, so maybe we'll come back. It looks more roomy than I than you thought. All right, I, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try going in here. Let's see this. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh, actually, you know what? It's pretty roomy, I gotta say. I'm scared to close the door because I won't know how to open it again. <laughs> where is where is the button to open the door? That's so funny. You know, I used to uh, I used to own a smart car. I would say this is more room than a smart car. It is a bit wacky though that like both people have this person has to get out first before I can get out because the steering wheel is wild. Yeah, yeah. Might be the strap that opens it. Yeah, maybe. Let's give it a try. It's all right, actually. I've been in a lot of micro cars in my day, and it's not bad. Okay, I like legit. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. Yeah, there's a button there. That was interesting. All right, let's go out here. There you go. Since I got my backpack off, I'm gonna have a sip of tea and read chat. How roomy is it compared to your pickup? Oh. Grab my tea with one hand. Should have brought the uh, mini tripod for this thing. Is this the Rye? Yes, it is. If cars were this small and drivers were really well trained, we can maybe live with them. Yeah, probably. 
mean, there's no reason to throw out the whole idea of motor vehicles completely, but we also know that, like, they're a big fucking problem in cities. I will say, though, my big complaint with that pickup truck that I had is that it drives like a U-Haul. It, it just feels like you're in a metal box. It's garbage. I'll show you over here while I have some more tea. I think uh, Chris Bruntlett should be here soon. Let me just make sure I'm not missing any messages from him. Unfortunately, the same phone that has WhatsApp is the one that I'm using to stream right now. Right. Nothing yet. How is the quality of the stream video? I know audio is going to be not perfect because I'm not using a lab, but how's the video and the stream quality? And everything? I've never uh, used this app before. It's like called IRL Live or something like that. It does let me stream through two mobile networks though. Video is good, that's good. Yeah, I'm streaming through two mobile networks. One on Wi-Fi, one on uh, the SIM card. Sometimes when you come to tra trade shows, uh, the mobile networks can get really, really clogged up. The worst was TwitchCon. Oh my god, when TwitchCon was here, I came by, and like mobile networks just didn't work. There were just way too many people trying to live stream. Not even for just live streaming. Not as clear as your GoPro. That's possible. It's also indoors. I mean. You can set up a secondary phone with the same WhatsApp account these days. Yeah, probably a good idea. All right, let's go uh, check out some more stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I tried streaming TwitchCon. Who's this? The cowed. Once the Lenovo Legion booth. 240p, 30 frames per second. Lol. Yeah. I think we've seen everything in this hall, right? Looking that way, here's that giant Royal Mail that is supposedly a bicycle, but is basically a truck. Look at this thing. Yeah, I'll pull around the other side. Cool little vehicle. I just don't want it in the bike lane. Got like full windshield here. Is that the battery? Jesus, that thing is huge. Love that for groceries, yeah. To close it, give it a firm push as if closing a car bonnet. What's a bonnet, British people? Huh? You mean a hood? Postman Pat will be riding this. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna take uh, one more quick look down here to see if I can spot uh, anybody I know, but then we can take a quick ride through the cars. Although I gotta actually, I don't know if that's gonna be possible. I'm gonna have to shut down soon because I really have to go at 2 o'clock. Unfortunately, my son's got an appointment out in the town, so. 
I gotta get going, and it's almost two o'clock now. I think a lot of this comes down to wide enough bike infra. I don't mind sharing stuff if there's enough space. I mean, that's a trick, right? Like when we were riding yesterday on Sarfati Strat on the stream, we'd be fine there. The cars are already allowed there. But this would be way easier to pass. Not going to be able to end on a tram on this one. So I think we're just going to watch people riding around a bit until I finish up the stream. Uh, and here, both in this street and in the shopping street, we have concentration shops. That's a full-on motorcycle. Damn it. I'll stand here and get you a view of the stuff people are riding around. trucks, so it's one of the smaller ones, but it's like quad cycle, you see the turning radius of these things, right? I mean, they make sense in like pedestrianized areas and such. This one's big, and this one's turning radius is actually pretty big too. He needed to really take that turn all the way from the edge. And this one was on a, basically a motorcycle with a, it's got a yellow license plate. All right, everyone. Well, unfortunately I got to pack up, but maybe I can head out uh, to this show on Sunday. I don't think Saturday is possible. Maybe Sunday. We'll see how it goes. No tram on this one, so you're just going to have to end on electric trucks. Now, the trick is how do I? raid someone on Twitch while I'm also doing this on my phone. Am I logged into Twitch on my stream phone is the question. Apparently I don't even have Twitch installed on my stream phone. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Let's, let's go to Twitch. Hopefully this doesn't cut you off. I'm going to go to Twitch and I'm going to... Alright, I'm sending you Twitchers over to uh, Trucker Dylan again. We were just looking at little trucks, so now you can go see him drive his big truck. Thanks everybody.